Several years ago, a couple came to me. The husband had committed adultery. The wife absolutely loved the husband in spite of it, yet had a profound sense of anger and hatred toward the act of her husband. The husband, in turn, absolutely loved the wife and had gone against his own moral compass in a situation where he was completely compromised of what he valued most in life. And as a result, this created a huge wedge in their ability to reconnect in spite of the betrayal. As soon as the wife began to feel secure in the authenticity of the love that the husband had for her, she was able to start to build bridges of connection once again. The wife expressed specifically three ways that she felt most loved in the relationship. The husband wrote these three ways down and carried this in his pocket every single day. And he would address three of those ways and show up for his wife in the ways that she felt most loved. As he continued to commit himself to rebuilding a bridge of connection, of faithfulness to her, she began to rebuild her sense of trust and the depth of the grudge began to dissipate. The husband's commitment to his daily acts of service and love began to replace the grudge with a sense of safety and connection again within their relationship. Judgment separates, love and forgiveness restores. A definition of a grudge is a bad feeling or, or actually hatred toward another person for something they've done or something you think that they've done. We have the choice to hold on to that judgment toward another person. We can ruminate about it and build a huge case against people. Know this, when we choose that response to any human being, we are the ones who suffer. Breathe in through your nose and release. In the next 24 hours, write down three ways that you feel most loved in life and share it with somebody you love. Ask them to do the same for you. Make a conscious effort to show up in those behaviors that reinforce the safety and connection of the relationship that you share.